guys, it's Gary here, and today I'm going to be reacting to my um, original Spongebob Season 1 ranking from like two years ago, I think. And uh, I think my opinion has changed in these two years since I reviewed it. So yeah, um, let me review my review of Spongebob, and then I'm going to say my new opinion, and maybe I'll make a video ranking all the Spongebob Season 1 episodes in the future, which is updated. But yeah, let's get started. Hello guys, it's Gary here, and I bring you yeah, I sound young. my least favorite to favorite Spongebob Season 1 episodes. Remember, this is my opinion. I have unpopular opinions in here. I did. You can tell. Okay. Just by when it's gonna, like, you Your know, opinion sucks. start. Just continue All right. On. My least favorite episode of Spongebob Season 1 oh. is Valentine's Day. All right, I'm not going to spoil, I'm not, uh, not spoil, but I'm not going to say, like, much in between. I'm just going to say I disagree with this now. Um, in my future review, I'll tell, say why. But for now, I'll just say a lot of my opinions here were just wrong. This episode, Patrick, oh, my God. Like, just hey, there, Patrick. Makes me mad. Like, I say Patrick's the reason why, but Patrick has a valid reason as to be mad. Like, he just doesn't make me feel good in this episode like also my mic just kind of unappreciative of spongebob like, i just don't like him okay. number 40 is squeaky boots this is probably my least favorite episode of the season um due to all the squeaking other than that i don't really care the squeaking is annoying the squeaking just gets on my nerves and like the part where Mr. Krabs, like, got the colors come up, I just don't like that part. It's weird. Yeah. Number 39, I was a teenage Gary. This one's also not that great. It's just a little weird other than that. Uh, yeah, the imagery that's... and plot in this episode is terrible. The plot wasn't terrible. Imagery wasn't that bad compared to later episodes. The imagery, like, the, where the way SpongeBob and Squidward transform into snails is just disturbing. They don't show and Squidward transforming into snails. It's just like Fun weird. Fact. I don't really get the plot at all. Number 38, Fools and Abe. I disagree with this one. Bro, I don't like this episode. SpongeBob and Squidward are treated terribly. What did Squ Squidward deserve to be treated terribly after he treated SpongeBob in that episode? Squidward abuses and then SpongeBob, SpongeBob got and his joke back. Abuse Squidward. That's how this episode works. No, it doesn't. Whoa. Number 37. Opposite. This is probably my least favorite opinion I had. I disagree with this entirely. Day. This is a very unpopular opinion of it mine. It is. But I do not like how Squidward is treated. Squidward was treated fairly be due, due to him bringing it on to himself. Like, some people say he deserved it, but I don't think he deserved I it. I did. This episode Number was 36. Funny. The paper. So it's same this one with Squidward and opposite day, but Squidward also did it to himself, like letting a piece of paper control take his entire life. The humor in this one is better. Number thirty five, jellyfishing. I think this one's a little too high, and it's because Squidward was tortured for trying to enjoy himself. Basically the other two, but this one's more classic and the humor is uh good too. Number 34, Squidward the Unfriendly Why do I say it like that? Now, at this point, we are getting into the episodes that are pretty meh. They're not bad. The ones this before were right. bad episodes, but the ones starting now are meh There's episodes. Squidward parts. the Unfriendly Ghost is the first meh episode because it was on the verge of being bad. Why? Like, it's just like some of it just makes it meh. Because but Squidward what? is kind of a jerk in this episode. And yeah, that's I just don't like it that much. It's kind of boring too. But Squidward. Number thirty-three, nature pants. This one's okay. Yeah, I this mean, one is see. just meh. The most meh, boring thing out of all of season one. That. I, I mean, it is boring, but like, okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, this is why it's right here. All right, now the ones right here, like I'm gonna name some. Yeah, this of is when I just said same, nothing and just said, oh yeah, all these are the same. But I disagree. Ne Funny episode. I liked it. Toon Spatula, number 31. This episode was also good. Hooky, number 30. The Shack. This episode was alright. I didn't think much of it. Apparome, number 29. Mermaid Man. This episode was 
I mean, I thought it was okay. And a barnacle boy too. Number 28, home sweet pineapple. I thought this episode was fine. I liked it. Number 27, naughty naughty. This episode was also good. I, I don't see how it was meh. Chronicle neighbors. Number 26, hall monitor. This episode was amazing. Number 25, Sandy's rocket. Fair. Number 24, mermaid man. This one, I think I ranked too high. I mean, I, I thought it was okay. Barnacle boy. Yeah, those all are on there for the same reason. Like, they are all on there for the same reason. I just kind of ranked them on, on how I liked it. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy was at the top because, like, you know, they introduced Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. That's not Boy, a so, good yeah. reason. I mean. Next episode, 23, Employee of the Month. Now, this is where the good episodes come Yeah. Out. Not the bad. Yeah. Not the meh, but the yeah. good. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I put Employee of the Month in this low. Well, I just don't really like the competitiveness of That's what makes Spongebob it funny, Squidward, the competitiveness. The humor just, like, makes it a good episode. Number 22, Suds. This is when my mic just died, and I don't understand what the hell I'm saying. It's, it's not probably. Very. It's very creative. Like, I, like the, it's kind of it's funny and like all that, which makes it a little bit of a mess. Yep, you, yeah, I don't even know what the hell I'm saying here. Yeah. So that's what's a good episode. Reasons, okay. that, that's Number 21, Plankton. Uh, good introductory to a character. Plankton, but also because like, him as I the like villain or the main villain. This thing for the first three seasons, at least. Mermaid Man a Barnacle Boy. Oh, God, if man. it wasn't for like the humor and the story, like the story and the humor's good. The story. It just doesn't feel like Steory. that great of an episode to me. Number 20, yes, top 20, guys. Yeah! Boating school. I'm this gonna be honest, I funny. didn't think... I don't care what you say. I, I don't it think this episode was that things. funny. It introduced Mrs. Puff. It was it introduced boating moderately school. funny it introduced on the funny leg. scale. It introduced a lot of things. Yeah! Boating school is on here, too, because the humor is great. But no, other than it, that, it was all right. pretty... All right, episode, like... Uh, there's better episodes, but yeah, as you can tell. Next episode, number 19, Reef Blower. This episode yeah, was pretty as good. As you all know, this is the episode without any voices. Yeah. Well, the rumors and stuff. But I like the creativity in this episode and what they did with it. The storyline itself is yeah, pretty good. Episode. I mean, the humor is pretty good, but there the is why not it's much high humor. Is it's just how really. It is. Number yeah. 18, Muscle Bob Buff. I think I. I don't know why I put this in good. I did not care for this episode. Pants. Yeah, this one, like, I was debating how high i should put it but i decided to put it here because like the story itself Ash, is mad but i not really like the humor it. in this one like spongebob in that glass tsk, tsk. amazing top quality humor <coughs> the story itself with like spongebob and the anchor lifting competition it was all right the ending was all right it was like, oh my god my mic yeah, was so, so bad i can't even yeah. hear what the number 17 saying. tea at the tree dome this episode this was just episode a good introductory to Sandy Patrick, but carried. A reason low key. why it's all the way up here. Another one. The plot line is good. The humor yeah. is good. The humor's yeah. fine. Like it, the story could be a little better, but no, the story's other than good. That, it's, it's a, a good introductory good to Sandy. Number sixteen. Pickles. Pickles. This episode, oh. it's like pretty good. It introduced Bubble Bass, yeah. which is an alright right. character. But, but like, bass, the humor huh? in this one and the story. The story is very good. The humor is very good. It's a good episode overall. Very good humor, Like, indeed. SpongeBob yeah. is just amazing. Yeah, SpongeBob. Number 15, Rock Bottom. Originally, I don't know why I put this down here, because this episode is just um, top-tier humor, and it's got a nice, like, vibe to it. Season 1, I, I like how, like, it's a lot more calmer than the rest of the seasons, which is probably my favorite thing about it you guys are probably wondering why like this is not in the nice top vibe. five i don't know okay if i'm gonna be honest when i first saw it i did not like it but like the more i watched it the more it that's grew because, on me I, I don't know like the jokes in this one are top notch the story like that's the reason why it's all the way down story is great really i like don't know what this much. dude's talking about other than this that like ball. it's a classic it, yeah we all know rock bottom if yeah, you haven't we do. seen it, you're not a true Spongebob fan. If you haven't seen every episode, Number 14, Karate Choppers. Yeah, I think Karate Choppers is very good. It was the yeah. last episode of the decade. Right? I mean, yeah, it was the last.
last episode of the decade. Jesus Christ. Clear your mic, kid. I would say put it higher, but like the story is all right, but the humor is very, very good. Like that ending gag was very funny. Very the story, funny. like it's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. This episode I wouldn't consider a classic. It's not like that well known, but at the other ones, but yeah, I really like it. Number thirteen. Help wanted. Oh yeah. The original. The OG. We all know it. Help wanted. Yeah. yeah. This episode made it up here because of its classic. That's like, not classic. a good reason. It's the in first my episode. Opinion. In my opinion, putting an episode somewhere just because of how classic it is isn't a good reason. Because like, yeah, it's known, but it's you're giving your opinions and thoughts. Like, just because it's classic doesn't mean you have to like it. Like, I like help wanted, but like. I don't know, some other things. Like, just because they're classic doesn't make it good. Like, it's done a lot for Bucky Bob. The reason why it's, like, not as high, though, is because, like, uh, like the humor's all right, but, like, the story's good, the humor's all right, but it's classicness right. just makes it high. Just, yeah, like, yeah, I'm just saying, like, oh, yeah, everything's all right. I mean... Number 12. Texas. Yeah. yeah, this one, like, the song really carries this episode. It, it's not just but the other song. Other than that, like, the, the humor the is all right. as a whole. The story the is very is good. good. I the, really the like the story, good. too. The story is Sorry very good. I'm talking good. over myself, but I don't want my, Eleven. Review, my, my review and my review to stretch. Scaredy Pants. Okay, I come for Scaredy your Pants pickle. is a very good episode. I don't care what you say. It's a good Halloween special. It is. Like, is it good as the other one? Um, we'll see. But scaredy pants, I would rate it. Oh my um, god. Very good. It's kind of hard to watch this good. one. I this can't even, like, hear good. myself out. It's of classicness that. is very good. It's very good. Very good episode. Number 10. Top 10. Walking Small. Yeah, I like I this one. We are now in the top 10. As with Walking think Small. think Plankton trying like, to make SpongeBob evil. I really like this episode. Like, the story, the humor, the but I'll get into that morals and stuff. Like, yeah, it's very good. SpongeBob, like, is very, like, SpongeBobby in this episode. What does that even mean? End, but in the middle, like, it was, like, a very, very, you know, episode. SpongeBobby. Number nine, Bubble Stand. Yeah, this All episode, right. I really, really, really like the humor in this one. Same. The story, like, is alright, but the humor good. carries it, and it's classicness. But the humor really carries this episode. That. Why would it work? <laughs> it's a giraffe. Oh my god, Number that eight, sounded so forced. Jellyfish Jam. This... I disagree. I did not care for Jellyfish Jam. I'm going to be honest with you. Jellyfish Dam was okay. I found it kind of like Nature Pants. I, I didn't really think much of it. This one is a classic. Also, this one has very good humor. Nah. The Jellyfish Jam song is good. The Dude, is Stadium like, Rave is a good, story, is a good no, song, I have to admit. But yeah, it's a pretty good episode overall. Number seven. Arg. Arg, huh? Humor, the everything. It the everything. East. I really I like this episode. East. The reason why it's above Jellyfish Jam is mainly because of the story. Like, or because if it had it's just a way better story, in general. Then it would be below yeah. Jellyfish Jam, but like its story is very good. It's it's a very good episode. It's humorous. It's just good. Number six, Ripped Pants. Ah, oh, that's a good episode. Ripped Pants is a classic. The song really carries it. The story is very good. The song good. Do, the it doesn't just carry good. it. Everything is carries. The humor this is very good. Like it's a humor, very good plot, episode. Humor, plot, song. Overall. I'll get and into all that classic. jazz sometime like, when I feel good, like it's it. It's a classic. It's really yeah. Number five, top five. Yes. Fun. Yeah, it's pretty obvious why this episode is here. Good song, good story. Like it's on the weaker side of the humor for SpongeBob season one. I need but to start. Still, it's a very good episode. Getting a new measure. I really think song, fun story, and is good. plot. Like the story just carries it. Same with the song, the story, and the classicness. And, and like, humor. It's yeah. very high. The humor's like eh, but like the other the things. Just, I need other things just better. really carry. My, my past self did not SpongeBob review episodes well. have to be humor based. That's fair. Number four, SB one two nine. This amazing one episode. is amazing. The story, <laughs> the humor, the everything. Why do I sound so like desperate? Like we're going into the future and the past and whatever. Very creative episode. Like, really, it's just, yeah. This episode yeah. really just, like, 
amazed me when I first saw it. Like Squidward going into the Krusty Krab into the freezer, I always tense up if. Then I still do. I get scared that SpongeBob, SpongeBob and Patrick, Patrick will not, still catch him. I know he's not, but still, it just makes me intense. All right, guys, we're in the top three now. The big leagues. Number three, culture shock. Yeah, the story, the humor. Like it, the, can you stop so saying funny. that like, and like actually talk actually about the episode? The okay, thanks. Episode, probably in season one. Like the humor really carries it. The story, I mean, it's good. But it the, is I, good. Like, the humor, like the SpongeBob. This is, I do Squidward, admit this is probably SpongeBob the funniest episode of season Squidward, one. Like the hands. I'm and just stuff. gonna say that was a really good. Like the humor in this one is very good. Number two, pizza delivery. Now you guys are probably gonna get mad at me for not putting this. <laughs> Why would we get mad for not putting it at number one? Like, it, it, it's not, like, I know a lot of people like it, but, like, I think I just put it at number two just so I could, like, please people. I don't know. That number one. But I have an exclamation. This would be number one two years ago, but I found another episode I liked more. Two years the ago? The story, what the frick the happened? Everything. It's good. It's good. It's good. This episode is very good. Good. Like, good. I would put this at number one, but there's just one episode. I just... I cannot put it at what? Like, Why do I sound like I'm going to cry? Season one. Like, I just can't. In that episode, number one is Sleepy <laughs> Time. Yeah. Um, uh, this is still my favorite episode. Remember when I talked about how vibe really carries a season one episode for me? This one, the vibe is, like, you know, it's, like, calm. Like, I know, like, the the point of the episode isn't to be funny. It's to, like, spongebob going through others dreams so uh, you yeah. guys are probably going to disagree with me on this but i think sleepy time is a classic i really like the story the story like SpongeBob don't think what's a classic going into his you, French dreams. what's a it's classic is most what creative episode of season loves. one probably or best story well of season one innovating. the humor is pretty good it, the everything is pretty good so yeah that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of this review. I'm sorry if I didn't, like, go in-depth about each episode, but that's for another time when I actually redo my rankings for every single SpongeBob season due to me having a different opinion than when I've had t two years ago. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you whenever I feel like it. Bye.